it has been a horrible 10 years. Code wizards meddled in the balance of nature and released hordes of monsters from other dimensions on an unsuspecting world. Not satisfied with just destroying the human life, the monsters rampaged across the world eating everything they could find and leaving nothing in their wake but empty void. The great mage trio Dusk, Vizui, and Scott approached you with an offer. They had just enough power to protect your home and a small amount of land from the final devastation. In return for their protection, you agreed to collect the materials and resources the creators would need to remake the world once the hordes retreated back to the Hell Realms. The Great Trio cast their spell to protect you, while the Magician Way of Flowing Time forced the evil armies into submission and ordered them back to their dimensions. Upon waking up, you find that the creators, the Jaded One and the Cute One, have left a small amount of supplies to get you started. They apologize for not being able to give you more. If you complete the tasks assigned, you will receive more rewards to help you in your mission. It is up to you to recreate the world, to provide a home for the poor lonely creatures left alone and homeless, to repopulate the planet. To this end, the Jaded One has compiled a list of the many items and fluids that will be needed. This book will magically update your progress as you complete quests and may at times have new quests added if she sees she missed a requirement. To start, Punch tree, get wood. Welcome to Agrarian Skies, the modded Minecraft skyblock. I'm playing this mod pack map with the first hunt. Hello. Hey, how's it going? I'm not too bad. Are you are are you ready to do this? I am ready. I have no clue about anything with this map. Okay, I I know a little bit, but not a ton. But it's it's a hardcore map. Um, so if we open up our quest book, let's see, oh, it's taking a while to load on my screen. There we go. Um, basically, we're going to have a series of quests to do, and it should say in our quest book, we are currently not in a party. So I'm going to, uh, do you want to invite me? Or no, it's, it's the underscore. underscore first underscore hunt, right? Yep, one ST. Oh, no, what's the party name? No, that's not the party name. Hold on. Party name will be Delcraft. Create party. And now I'll invite you to the party. Invite player. It should give you a an invite. Uh click on party. Oh, there. Is it you in have there? one party invite, okay. There we go. Now we're getting it. Sweet. There, now see we have four lives. Oh, sweet. So I can just run off the cliff over here? Well, let's... We, we may die of starvation. <laughs> it's, um, it, it's pretty terrible out here, by the way. Is it raining? No, oh. it's all clay. Yeah, it, everything... So the entire island is made out of a green and brown clay. So it's not useful for making anything. Uh, also be careful... Um, yeah. Anywhere where there's like micro blocks, um, sh you know, shift walking won't save you. <laughs> so just be very careful until we sort of get going here. Up up on this hill here, we have an uh, infinite water source. Ooh. So that's going to come in handy. And it's a little stream that goes down there. But it's all clay. And this building here is made out of um, also some clay as well as some sandstone brick. And some other micro blocks. Actually, these micro blocks are going to become really annoying because they block you from like actually putting stuff in these spaces. We'll we'll get rid of them at some point. But yeah, this is the map. The mod pack was actually put together by uh, someone known as Jaded Cat. She's part of the FTB team, so she did a really good job with this. And this island, I think, was created by someone called More Valeria, I believe. Her name will appear in some of the quests, I think, so I guess we'll find out. But we should probably get started before we die. There's a mod in this mod pack called Hunger Overhaul mm -hmm. that basically reduces the effects of food. Oh, that's nice. Yep. Yeah. Uh, also, and once our ham bones get down to zero, we die. Yeah, just flat out die. Flat out die. There's no uh, warning. Well, you'll get a warning once you're down to the low. I think you get like you'll have like a you'll be slowed and stuff. 
And if yeah, you look okay. inside the chest, we have a few items to get started. We have some saplings and some bone meal, basically. That's how we're going to create our entire world. Isn't that exciting? Uh, yeah, this is um, did you, this is uh, pretty did, terrifying. Did you ever play the, uh, the little uh, narration? Uh, yes, I actually played okay. it. Starting with very little resources, we're going to, uh, we're going to recreate the world in our image. Does so, that mean a giant Scott? Yeah, well, yeah. All right, so step one. Oh, I forgot uh, bone meal. Do you want to grab some bone meal? Yeah, I'll grab Grab a stack. Oh, I grabbed 16 because I'm paranoid. No, that's fine. And uh, we have one block of dirt, and so there we go. Oh, so first quest. Learning to sky block. So the first quest is we need an, to craft an oak wood plank. Oh, okay. Keep bone milling that till it grows. All right. There it goes. All right. Don't don't break the leaves. Don't break the leaves. Oh. Don't break the leaves yet. Oh, all right. Just take out the uh, couple. Leave the one block. Don't break it so that the tree decomposes yet. All right. So the way the questing works in this mod pack is if you did you ah yeah you left one is go ahead you can go ahead and craft an oak wood plank. All right. Just let okay. Me know. And so, it'll complete for both of us. Oh, okay. So we can both claim the rewards. And, oh, I don't have the sound effect on. I should uh, turn up my sound. Oh, it was very pretty. Sound like the old Sim Tower. Yeah, uh, so Jake. there is a sound effect. And so, next quest. This is just learning how to turn in quests, basically. This beginning quest. Um, now, another way of completing quests is you actually manually submit the item, in which case you lose the item. So if you click manual submit, you'll submit the oak plank that you made. I may have a bit of a dumb question. Yeah, go ahead. But how do I get back from the uh, claiming the reward? I claimed it, but... Okay, I... so if you want to go back to the main quest, press mm. the uh, right, right click. Oh, okay. Right click will take you back. Yep. And and uh, left click moves you forward. Okay. Open and then click open. And so, yeah. So basically, what we're working on right now at the very beginning, this is just showing you how the quests work in this. And so, if you click on the uh, manual completion quest, if you submit the plank, just click manual submit. Okay. There yep. we go. And so now we'll get our reward. Okay, and so the next quest is the quest delivery system. Okay. And that's what they gave us. Oh, I, we need the hopper. All right, I'll go grab that. Okay. All right, so the quest delivery system, what it is is it'll, it's a way to um, submit quests which doesn't seem all that useful right now. No, not really. But So if I throw down the delivery system and you put the hopper on top of it, like so, if you go into your quest book and you click select task, Okay. and then you, I, when I right click on the delivery system, you'll see that when you look at it, it should say the QDS feed the QDS, Okay. which is the, the quest that we're on. Mm -hmm. Now, right now, we need to put a plank into it. So if you put the plank into the hopper, it'll feed it into the, the quest delivery system. And so now, the quest completed. But now, if you look in your book, there's actually a, a second part. Uh, it's called No Help Given After. Okay. We actually have to, you have to basically break down the hopper. So I'll break it down. And we have to actually give them back the hopper because they're not going to give us the hopper because they basically want us to have nothing. And so I manually submit the hopper, and so now that quest is complete. And we can claim the reward. Which gives us a heart. And a reward bag. And a reward bag. So if you eat the heart, you'll add, add it? to our lives. Yeah, go ahead. Hey! Yay! I got our life. Yeah, so we're now 
up to six lives because we each get one. So every time we get hearts, we'll, it'll add to our total lives. So the, the whole point of the quest delivery system is right now it's sort of pointless because we don't really have anything. Mm -hmm. But um, some of the later quests, like for the hoarding, which I can't really... See, we haven't unlocked them, so we can't really see them. But they're to submit a lot of items. So you can pipe items and liquids into the delivery system. Okay. And you can also use it as a trash if you want to like get rid of something because you can you can just throw items in and they're basically voided. So, yeah, cool. So it's a way to get rid of something. So let's see what we've got in our reward bags. Mine's a basic one. Yours is probably a basic one too. <laughs> oh, nice. What? Oh. Eight monster jerky. I actually got a really useful one. 64 redstone. Oh. That's... Very wow. cool. That That's going to come in very handy, actually. Mm -hmm. Eventually. Okay, so now we're actually starting real quests. In the beginning, we need to build a bunch of stuff. Um, but if you read the actual quest, it will tell you that using a crook. Well, actually, I don't think it tells you in this one, but we need to build a crafting station, a chest, a tool station, a part builder, a stencil table, an oak barrel, and a crook. Okay. And I don't think we have enough wood yet, but I'm gonna I'm gonna build the uh, crafting station because it's simple. You Can I put a crafting punch those to this tree yet, or? Uh, let's let's build a crook, and we'll use the crook on the leaves. Okay. I'll build you a crook here. Here's a crook. What a crook does is it actually uh, increases the odds of you getting a sapling from a tree. Ah. And it will also give you a chance of getting a silkworm, which we will need in a later quest. So okay. Go ahead and crook all those leaves. Yeah. I haven't seen any saplings fall yet. Yeah, I got some. <laughs> Hopefully we get one. <laughs> well, oh, there's a couple. We got. There's one. Okay, what I'm going to do... I'm actually going to start getting rid of some of these micro blocks on the front so that we can actually put stuff down out here. So yeah, these micro blocks that are on the front here prevent you from basically placing blocks up against the building. Mm. So I guess they make it look nice, but they're kind of annoying. Oh nice, so you've already grown another tree. Well, I figured while you were trimming the uh, building I'm gonna punch some of this wood out here. And oh, here. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Let me. Uh, did I get it? I didn't get it. Oh, there it is. All right. Let me. So we can stop jumping here too. That's actually a bad thing. I'm. Uh, I'm gonna put some uh, half planks down. So that we can. Uh, just sort of walk up normally. Okay. So now we can we can walk up it rather than uh jump. Jumping. And yeah, so because of the hunger overhaul, see I'm already down two ham bones. I'm down three. Yeah, because as we do work <laughs> we're gonna lose uh all right, let's see if I have enough wood to do stuff. So I need a chest. I need a I need some. Patterns. Oh, I can see what you're crafting. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, you can look at this one. And it'll also hold, like, so if I, like, go away, it'll Oops. hold on to it. It'll hold the items there, sorry. No, no problem. Alright, make another crook. Yeah, I... That's fine. 
Um, and if you put a chest down beside it, it'll actually show you whatever's in the chest oh. beside it. Hey, I got a uh, silkworm. Nice. We're going to use put that. In the chest. Okay, let's build a part builder. Oops, I always do this wrong. Uh, Tinker's Construct. Table. Yeah, well, it's changed. So, uh, I need I need some more wood. I've got two. Oh, oh I'm in, I am inside a tree. That's not nice. Are you okay? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Do I have to come break you out? Well, I was more concerned I was going to start taking damage. All right. Hey. Wood. All right. So I got that one. I got that one. I need a crafting. Can we just set up a miscraft world where there's nothing but wood floating around? No miscraft in this one. Aww. Actually, gonna take this chest and convert it into the. Uh, I'm gonna convert it into the uh, pattern chest. And. Uh, I got two patterns. Set up this stuff, and I think I just need to make a barrel now, I think, for the quest finish it. Yep, oak, one oak barrel. I, I just need a little more wood to finish it off. Uh, yeah. I need uh, come over here and I'll throw some wood at you. Stencil table, pattern chest, part builder, tool right. station. Nope. Oh. Where'd it go? Did you just throw it? Oh, there it is. Yeah. Yeah. You need like a magnet or something. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we have uh, Thomcraft in this, right? Uh, yes, Thomcraft. So kinetic attractors. Yeah, we're we're ready for that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm sure we are. Uh, we're get, definitely gonna need another chest to throw junk in. Uh, do you got any more sticks? Uh, you need some sticks? I uh, need a crook. Here. Go ahead and take it out. Take two. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. You're so generous. Uh, yeah, I am. I want to build a chest just so that we have stuff somewhere to put junk. Wait, we have junk? Yeah, I got some of those micro parts. Oh. Because so, I have apples, and I do not, I do that not have I do not have apples, so uh, I'm going to throw the wood in there until I need it. Uh, I got material. Oh, thank you for another materials in you. That's handy. Okay, I just need to make the barrel now. Oak barrel. I have no idea how to make it. One slab and some wood. Okay, we're gonna need a couple of those. Okay. But I think I have enough wood to make one right now. So, so what's good. the uh, what's the benefit of the barrels in this one? All right. Well, we'll find out. Actually, I think. Does it say in our quest book? Uh, yeah. Okay. So once you have uh, it suggests placing two barrels under cover to com create a create a composting area, and three out in the open so that they can collect rain. Oh, okay. That's uh, neat. And once you have eight spare saplings, place them in a barrel to compost into dirt. Oh. Uh, I think there's 14 saplings in the starting chest. Okay. And you can also compost leaves, rotten meat, apples, wheat, and string. Rotten meat? Rotten so meat. So uh, zombie, zombie flesh. flesh. Okay. Yes. At some point we're going to want to make a mob spawner, but I think we'll wait until we have some sort of cobble cobble generation because it actually takes quite a bit. I'm going to put this out put this out here for now just in case it rains because we want to collect some rain water uh, because we don't have a bucket so we can't actually move the water into the barrels. Do we have a wooden bucket yet? No there is no wooden bucket. No wood. oh, okay. So the ol our only source of, of water will be rain until we can get a bucket or okay. there is one other way that we can move water um, hopefully it doesn't come to that do we have a uh, chest for wood uh, I just put some uh, no we can throw it over here by the crafting okay. table it's probably better there because then we can use it I'm actually gonna put these over take the saplings up put those over there get that out 
over there. And I'm going to make you um, something that you can use for tree stuff. How's that sound? I mean, that sounds pretty cool. I'm not 100% sure what you'd make. I'd actually, like a chainsaw? Can I get like a steel? Steel chainsaw? No, but I can make you an axe. So, normally in Minecraft, uh, you'd take some wood, make a stick, right? Yeah. And then basically put two sticks and then put the three stick, three things of wood. Right. Make a nice wooden axe. Yeah, that's, yeah. Yeah, that's that, a normal way of doing it. That recipe doesn't exist. Oh, that's, uh, that's pretty fantastic. I'm also, a pick. Yeah. That recipe doesn't exist. You can, however, make a shovel and you can make a hoe. Whoa, for our one block of dirt. Yes, but we cannot make an axe, so we have to use Tinker's Construct to make an axe. Okay. Um, uh, we don't have cactus or cobblestone. Right. So the only... So I'm going to make a tool rod, because we need that for the axe, and the axe head pattern, so I'll make those. Okay. But the tool rod can only... Valid materials are wood, stone, cactus, bone, obsidian, netherrack, slime, and thomium. <laughs> oh, fantastic. So we have, we have wood, so I'll make a wooden handle. But for the head, it's only stone, flint, bone, obsidian, netherrack, and thomium. So okay. they did supply us with um, like eight flint. So I'm going to make a flint axe for you. This this will be our tree chopper. Okay. Let's. What are we gonna name it? Tree chopper. Uh, that's a uh, pretty lame sounding. Already. Version one. No. No. Uh, how about um, how about Barbara Bush? Barbara Bush. Yeah, Barbara Bush. <laughs> Barbara. How about uh, tree duck biller? Um, that. <laughs> no, not a tree duck biller, just duck biller. No, how about daddy duck biller? Daddy duck biller. Yeah, that that we get the two D's. I mean, that's that's pretty good sounding. All right, so I'm I'm gonna give V1. you one. Here you go. You Ooh. ready? Can I have the duck bill? There's daddy duck biller. Oh. The, that looks pretty cool. Oh, by the way, we did finish that quest. I didn't claim the reward yet. Oh. So, the in the beginning quest. We get to choose a reward here, in addition to the other rewards that we're going to get. Okay. Um, I think one of us should take the Pan of Destiny. I'll take the Pan of Destiny, and you can take the... Uh, Axe of Despair. Axe of Despair. Oh, and, thank you. Or do you want to take the Pan, and I'll take the Axe. <laughs> no, I can, I'll take the Axe. That's fine. I think it's just a wooden Axe with some other handle. Uh, it looks like a Thaumium handle. It's purple. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to take the uh, Pan of Destiny. And I've got the Axe. All right, Pan of Destiny. Here we go. I love that sound. Oh, I need to turn it up. I, I'll turn it up a little bit more. It was, it was very quiet, uh -oh. but I, I saw it. All right, let's see what I got in my bag. Uh, an okay but not great reward. I got oh. a, I got a writing pick. I got something even worse. Stonebound. Did you get the boat? Nope. <laughs> even worse. What? Uh, hold on. I'll just. I don't even want to say it. I'm just gonna throw it at you. Oh, look, we got another one. They don't stack. Oh, they do. Yay. Uh, you got some. Uh, you got a heart as well, a quarter of a heart. Yeah. We'll, we'll, so, we'll store those in the chest until we oh. can... Uh... Oh, this is very nice, This uh, the Daddy Duck Biller version 1. <laughs> okay. Oh, gonna... do you want to uh, check out my awesome axe? I don't know. Yeah, is this like... Diablo? Is this like bound to me? No, no, no. Okay. So, the other thing that this mod adds is mm -hmm. normally with uh, Tinker's Construct, because you're familiar with Tinker's Construct. Very familiar. You can normally add modifiers to items. Correct. Um, in this mod pack, you cannot. They added a mod called Iguana Tweaks. And what happens is your, your weapons and items from a Tinker's Construct will actually level as you use them. Oh. So if you look at your axe that I gave you, have you used it yet? Uh, yes, I, I used it once. So it should say one of so Oh, many. okay. 
So yeah. once you've used it that many times, it will actually level up and gain a random. Uh, it'll gain a random modifier. So you've used it five out of one fifty, mm -hmm. and so once you use it more, you'll basically gain a random modifier. I'm gonna hold. I'll just put this axe in the chest. This other one. Um, we can upgrade it now or later. Later. But what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna upgrade my pick. Have I used my pick? I have used it, so i got to repair it quickly. So you can actually repair your items just in your main crafting window now with the correct tool. It'll tell you what um, repair material is needed okay. if you shift over it. Um, and you can actually... So if I come over to the... Oh, I need to build another uh, pattern. I put some more wood in the chest if you need it. So I'm going to make a pick head pattern. So why do we need a pick, or is this for the next quest? Uh, I'm just going to... We're going to need a better pick at some point anyway. True. And I'm just showing off um, part of Iguana Tweak. So I built a flint pick head. And so if I just put my um, pick and the pick head in my crafting window, I can basically swap out the wooden head with the flint head. And so now I have a flint headed pick exciting that is actually that's pretty cool because now you yeah. can take your really crappy things well and, yeah well uh, what what that means is later on as you level your tools um, you can swap it out with better materials and, and it keeps its level so I'm gonna be very annoyed when I die to the first skeleton that yes. I see yes all right how are we doing on uh, we had silkworms right uh, yes, I put them in the other chest. Okay, so I need to, uh, I need, we don't have any dirt, so I'm going to have to go over to this one oh. barrel that I placed. We have, we have dirt, we have one block. Okay, well we're going to need another tree. Okay. We need a second tree. Ooh, a second tree. Yeah. Um, another thing that we could use, I'm going to need some more barrels, so let's make some more barrels. Quickly. Uh, do we have slabs? We do have three slabs, so I can make three more barrels. Oh, I have 27 saplings on me if you need it. That's excellent, because we will need them. Um, but I got three more barrels. I'm going to put two more outside just in case it rains. Okay. And once this one finishes up, I'll leave. We'll put eventually two inside for. Uh, And I'm really enjoying this uh, Daddy Duck Builder. Yeah, it's much I, better than punching. <laughs> I have never duck built so good. All right, so we got some dirt now. Yay! Um, really? Need... Yeah. Where's the dirt? I grabbed it. Oh. So I put eight saplings in a barrel. So you can do it in here if you want. You can throw the eight saplings in there. If you you, sh you have it some extra, right? Yeah. Do I just right click? I have thirty on me at the moment. So. Yeah. Yeah. Just right cl uh, right click on it. And it'll oh. fill, start filling it up. Should be like a green. That's uh, pretty terrible, actually. Yeah. Looking. And then uh, it takes, you know, I don't know exact amount of time, but probably like thirty seconds or so, maybe a minute, to fully mulch into dirt. Oh, um, here, have some. Oh, thank you. Apples, yummy. Wow, I am actually starting to lose hunger. I am as well. I have. Uh about a quarter of my hunger left. As you can see, apples give you about half a uh, hunger. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so we're going to need better food. But, uh, we need a bit of a platform, I think. To, okay. Uh, where do we want to build out? Somewhere, mm. do we want to go, do we want to build a platform out here? Or do we want to just build, like, where, where would we want to put trees eventually? Uh, well, we don't have any windows in the back of the house, so let's look build out to the east. All right, let me. I'm gonna make some half planks, and I'm gonna put them on the bottom so that mobs don't spawn on them. Okay. You want to put the out back here? Yeah, just. Uh, Are you gonna clear out the? I'm. Yeah, I almost fell off that about a second ago. So. Okay, so th these regular wooden half slabs will support us. I think this is a regular block. Okay, I'm okay. 
Oh no! Uh, yeah, I don't think you can shift. There goes uh. the pan. <laughs> well, 